better efficiency, better performance, improved capabilities. These are just some of the benefits that the Hulvane can provide and why the Royal Netherlands Navy wanted to retrofit the painted device to reduce CO2 emissions and improve the energy independency of its fleet. Hulvane BV is a Dutch company specialized in hydrodynamic solutions for improving efficiency and ship performance. The Hulvane is an underwater wing mounted under the stern of a vessel that recovers energy from the stern wave by converting it into forward thrust, thereby increasing efficiency by reducing resistance and fuel consumption. The ship chosen for this project was the Holland-class ocean-going patrol vessel, a series of four Dutch Navy ships of 108 meters in length. Analyses by computational fluid dynamics indicated that the hull vane could provide a savings potential in fuel consumption and CO2 emissions of 10 to 16 percent, depending on speed. An extensive model testing program was carried out at the Marin Research Institute to assess the performance of the hull vane in waves and its impact on maneuverability. These model tests confirmed the computer simulations and gave insight into additional benefits of the hull vane. For example, the launch and recovery procedure of the daughter craft from the stern ramp will be improved. After successful model tests, the project entered the engineering phase. Using finite element modeling to assess the fatigue strength and vibration properties of the hull vane, the structural design was fine-tuned. The building of the hull vane was a textbook example of traditional Dutch craftsmanship combined with high technology. Every steel plate was CNC cut. Powerful hydraulic presses were used to form the plates, which sometimes have a thickness of 30 millimeters, especially in the curved parts, where the wing ends transition into the outer struts. Steel castings were used to produce two large pieces that have to bear the highest loads. Each of the 250 components of the hull vane has its unique part number. After casting, these cross connections were machined to achieve a very high degree of precision. All parts were then assembled in a building jig, where the hull vane took its final form over several months by welding the pieces together. The jig was used to maintain the exact shape, in spite of deformations from the heat introduced by welding. After sandblasting, the hull vane was fair to obtain a smooth hydrodynamic surface and painted with a hard coating to ensure excellent protection in the harsh ocean environment. The end result is a gigantic wing with a span of 11 meters, connected by four struts to the stern of the ship. The patrol vessel HNLMS Groningen was the first vessel in the Holland class series to be selected for the hull vane installation and to go into dry dock in Amsterdam. A part of the transom was cut out and the hull vane carefully maneuvered into its exact position. The structural reinforcements were added on the inside of the transom to ensure that the loads of the hull vane are properly distributed. When all the other works on the vessel were complete, the Groningen set out for sea trials. In the process, she rewrote history as the first naval ship with a hull vane. The sea trials were carried out in quite rough conditions, with winds gusting at 30 knots. Nevertheless, the trials confirmed the predicted resistance reductions. On average, 10% gains were found over the whole user profile. On transit to the Caribbean, savings of up to 16% were achieved. Top speed was increased to above 21 knots. But there's more. The hull vane also reduces pitching and yawing motions, which increases onboard comfort and operability of the vessel. In fact, during sea trials, the Groningen was noticeably more stable moving through waves, which makes helicopter landing safer and improves the performance of other systems on board, such as radars and satellite communications. With the weight being less turbulent, the propellers being loaded less, and the main engines not having to work as hard to obtain the same speed, there is also less underwater radiated noise, a feature very much appreciated by the ship's crew. In fact, 
The hull vane is considered a means to improving the stealth characteristics of naval ships, making them less visible from the air and harder to detect. In short, the hull vane retrofit project was a major success and it is a source of great satisfaction for all the teams at DMI, Comet and Hulvane that HNLMS Groningen will continue to sail and consume much less fuel for many years to come. This benchmark project for the Dutch Navy has effectively put the Hulvane on the radar of other naval fleets around the world. With the accuracy of predictions now validated and the absence of undesirable side effects confirmed, it's time to make the transition from paper to steel in order to make the Grey Fleet greener and reduces dependency on fossil fuels.